Hi everyone, it's Christine here. So this is um, my first try at a Daphne's Diary um, junk journal and um, I hope you enjoy what I've done. So I've managed to use the whole magazine and I've got a few pieces left over. So a couple of um, about a quarter inch strips that I've just torn off the edge to fit in the um, album. So that was just off the edge of the papers. Um, this little cutout that I'll probably use because it's got the the bird and the colouring, the light green, the blue and the um, pink flowers. <clears throat> this was part of the front cover. So I've used that. So this here is, that's where I've stuck it there. There's actually the barcode of the magazine underneath that. So I've stuck that there with a bit of my own twine. Um, it doesn't quite match in with the twine look there, but um, it'll, it'll do. And these one inch circles, I made some book page button that I've used on the spine so I'm actually going to make some danglies I've never made danglies before um, so I'm going to do that for these bits here add those and um, and I can still use this um, I can use this as well so there's still bits that I can use off of that for inside the journal and then a couple of pages that I didn't end up using. Um, but again, I can use them in the journal when I add start adding pockets. So, because these actually um, are perforated, so they can come out. And again, I didn't use this page. Um, but I can turn that into tags. And this page I didn't use either but I can cut these out and use them in the journal. So, and then there's the poster that you get as well. So um, I didn't use all of it, but I used one, which I'll show you that's on the back of the, the journal. So let me show you that. So that's the back. So I just added one of these there. And it's got three signatures. So this was the back cover that I've used. So I will, um, once I start adding pockets and start filling it in, I'll, um, I'll put a pocket, like a side pocket, I think, here, um, or an envelope. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. So, so this is the first signature. So what I did was um, I've used some pages as whole pages and then others I've actually cut down because I wanted wanted the width of it. So... Um, but you'll you'll understand that when when I start showing you. So hopefully you can see that okay. So this was one a page where I actually cut the page in half because I wanted like her to be standing upright. And this was another one. So all the little pieces you'll see that I've actually cut them um, across. So. For example, I've cut across the middle and then I've used that bottom piece. I've either folded in in half or folded it so there's one piece that's smaller on one side and bigger on the other. All depending on what was on the, um, the page. So like this one, I love this vine but I wanted this picture in it. So I folded it there at the edge of the picture. But it also I managed to get the whole of the flowers on the other side of the page. 
and then let me get to the other side. And this is the other side, so it's almost completely two different pictures. And then this is the other side of that. So as you can see, I've made a flow journal. So I've used elastic band and um, as the spine. So there's three for the three signatures. So this way I can move pages around or remove pages altogether if I wish or add more if I wish. So I really love that um, whole process. So, and I've added a few single, um, few sheets of coloured paper to fit in at certain areas. So I've used um, pink, blue, green and yellow and they're sort of the um, pastel coloured um, papers. So these are some of the trips that um, Daphne has been on. So I find some of these little papers are so interesting because it's like little bits of information um, and, you know, pictures as well. This is really gorgeous. This is actually um, flowers in ice and it's just stunning. So I was very careful um, where I folded them so that I did get a story of its own on that piece of paper. So on that side, so where this was folded, it's just got that there. And the pages that I've put in as big pages are ones that I can add things on top if I wish or leave them like that. I can even add the pockets in here so you still get to see the pictures. Really love this picture here. It's gorgeous. See, I probably won't cover that, but I might put a pocket up here or something like that or a tuck spot right down there. And then this is showing, and then I've just got a tuck spot in there. So even with this one, I was careful on where I cut it so that this side still had a story of its own. So this one I would cover up so I'll probably collage on that so I can use the colors in the background that collage on the front of it <coughs> excuse me so all these little pieces just add different colors here and there And the centers of each of the signatures are like a story. So you'll notice in the other two um, are very similar. They're sort of like a, um, this is a dear diary, love Daphne. That's all about chocolate cakes. <laughs> And even the printing, like even though this is a small piece of paper, 
you know you can do a little mini collage on this one using the print as the background and champagne I find the smaller um, papers add a bit of character to the the journal, like a bit of interest. Like this one here, I wanted to make sure that I had interest here, but I wanted the quote to be complete, not spread over two pages. So. It is simply a question of testing out lots of different things. It's a good quote. And then this picture, this piece is, you know, just a picture on its own. And you can actually look through the window and see what's through the window. It's quite interesting. And this on the other side, you're my main squeeze, talking about lemons. <laughs> And a couple of page pages where they sort of extended out, I've just turned them over and um, they'll either be made into a tuck spot or I'll just leave it like that. I love the frame around this picture and a few of the others are the same quite vintage I was quite pleased I hadn't um, used a magazine before and I'd watched so many um, videos of ladies using the Daphne diary and how they put it together so it was it took a bit of time to get my head around how I wanted the pages how where I wanted to cut them and that but I definitely wanted to be able to use the whole magazine and not sort of um, cut all bits and pieces out of one page to use in a journal I wanted to be able to use it to keep it complete so I think I've done quite well And I love how there's like little flowers, you know, on the pages as you go through, through the book as well. See, this is quite nice because you've got, you know, a set of photos here and this um, housing here. Then on this side page, you've got, you know, other photos like complete. They're not sort of taken over to the other side of the page. Let's see if I can find the other side. Somewhere here. Oh, yep. So that's this one here. So this is where I was very careful on where I folded it because this was a photo. You've got that bell there and you've got the two photos here. So it kept those all complete, even though when you look at it, this is one big photo all the way along. But where it's folded, it actually works with its half of it here. And then you've got these two complete folders here, photos here as well. So these were a, about three pages of these where, let me get that one out. And then I can show you. So it was three pages of these and like there was four on a page. 
and the idea was that see these holes well marks here you put um, make like a, a little pad out of it but I didn't do that I um, I kept it like this so I could use it in the journal and if I wanted to I can leave it as a black and white or I can color it in and I can still punch out these little holes and put a bow in there if I wish so there is many options And this is the other side of that lady. Let me show you. I find her. There she is there. So we looked at her. And then this is the other side. You might be able to see the complete picture there. If I hold that up straight. So. Works out well. And I tried to place the coloured paper close to something that's sort of got the colour in it. So just so it um, blends in well. And this has even got blue in the water, so it worked out well. So this is the seg second signature now that I'm um, heading into. So some of the poems I wanted to keep whole. I didn't want them to spread over two pages. So this was one of them. And you'll be able to see on the other side. Let me just find the other side for you. That's the other side of it. So that was its own complete picture. And then the poem is here. So that worked out really well. It was an unforgettable trip. It's so nice to take your own car on an adventure in a beautiful setting. So some of these whole pages is what I'll collage on um, and any pages where like I wouldn't do anything with here um, I might do a bit of writing but I'll collage on this side but leave that side fine because it's its own story so I've made this page into a pocket and this was a picture out of the magazine. So um, I think that was one of the pages where I've made short, but it, it sort of, um, I had to adjust the size of it. So I've kept the picture. I will fussy cut her out and I'll probably add her in somewhere. So even if I add her in here after I fussy cut it, that would look gorgeous as well. So I'm just keeping that in that pocket for now. Here's another of that page that, um, what was it? There was, there was the yellow colour, the blue colour and there's a pink. So you'll cut, I'll, you will see them as I go through the, the journals, the signatures, and they've all got a black and white picture on one side, and on the other is like a quote. Go and sit somewhere to daydream over your next holiday destination. So yeah, they're really cute. There's that beautiful vine again, it's so pretty. So this one, I, I wanted them together and that was a bit of a difficult page um, to fold. So I've made this into a fold here. Not sure how I'll use it yet, 
um, I might even attach a bit of paper to here and then like make it as a flip out I'm not sure yet so so I'll probably collage on here because that's actually a nice background there and this has got about growing um, herbs in your kitchen window so it talks about um, thyme seeds so I might even find a sticker of thyme or a picture that I've got of thyme and just put that there so because that piece is the bottom of past and I know there was one in here there so it's the bottom of these there's two pages of herbs so that's the bottom of it route 66 my sister went to America and did the whole the route 66 and she managed to get me one of these signs so that was it's not in these colors I think it was um, black and white but yeah I was really right because I'd always wanted one of those signs <laughs> so here's another one of those ones with the black and white pictures they're really beautiful the botanical prints on the back So this magazine was um, would have been January or February of 2019. So that's why it involved the Valentine Day's theme. So I can definitely collage this. So that'll be good. I only need to do a little bit there because I like that background, the pink. And um, so that'll be good to do. So this little piece had this picture on it there. And what's the other side? here so it had the ferris wheel there and um it tells you about the ferris wheel here and then this is a knife lock made out of old cookery books just love that background and that's what that is there so that's the top of of another piece that i've obviously used somewhere else I love the printing so that looks would look so nice as a background for a collage I really like this picture um, being like the Valentine you are my Valentine and with the, the man and the lady it's very cute so this is the centre of this signature. And the beauty of this, um, being able to move the elastic, is you can read it all, whereas if I'd sewn it, those words would have been caught up in the sewing of the signature. That's just a bit more about Valentine's Day. That's the, the piece of garland that I've got on the back there of the journal. It's nice that even these pages where <coughs> it's like the index page, um, 
it shows you what's in the magazine and we've seen the big bigger pictures of these as well it's really nice I love that it's got the numbers because I like numbers So that'll be a great page to collage. I mean, I could, if I wanted to, um, get a piece of um, tea dyed paper or something and actually glue, um, sew it together. That's another option. I like the random little pictures that it managed to be caught up in the right place. I like that. Must be so beautiful there. See, I can keep the Villa 27 and do a little bit of collaging. Probably do it down here because I love those old um, metal bowl set that's there. And this one, um, I can actually attach a piece of paper to this. That's quite a nice little, like a signature, um, like a um, spine almost that I can attach a piece of paper to. real it's gorgeous so one thing with um, Daphne's diary is that you can't sell anything that you make using Daphne's diary so um, it is just something that you make for yourself or gift it to someone. Um, I know some ladies make them as um, giveaways for their Patreon members, which is a lovely idea. So there's that other side, we finally made it to the other side of that little poem right at the start. And then this is the last signature, number three. So this is that little booklet of all those um, those black and white prints here that's got a picture on the other side so this is um, what you could do cut them out separately and actually make a little booklet but I didn't do that as you can see here's one here so this has got the pink on it Oh, masala chai. I love that idea. Water, milk, cloves, cinnamon, cardamom, loose black tea and sugar. Nice. So I can um, fill this in with something and leave this border. I love that border. It's got the blues and the golds and pink and, and touch of green. So that's absolutely really beautiful. So I can, that can actually be a border. So that'll be good to make something there. Love this background where it's got the pink writing in the background and the cat. And just random pictures like these just on the corner of a, a photo really sets it off.
and just these little random little flowers. I can put a, a little mini collage there and leave that flower there and it'll be absolutely gorgeous. So this was um, another page that um, I can do something around here. I can even just put washi tape there. These got little notes, so I can actually write little things there. And then the other side, let's see if we can find the other side. This is the other side. So it's the rest of the notes and the rest of the flowers. And I wanted this, enjoy this moment. I wanted that saying just on the one page. So that's why I folded it here. Black tea ice cream. So we did see the ice cream further back. See, that's a beautiful page. That's talking about the um, Daphne's diary and um, the actual separate little book. And you've got these little flowers here. You've got that beautiful writing there. You could put something there just to even on the inside put a different word maybe instead of new and you've got this little picture here and the writing you've put something there it's so nice it's so pretty such a lovely magazine to um, use like this and I'm so pleased that um, I could use it all in its entirety um, and not worry about where I had to cut things because when I um, I'd hold the page up in the air um, to see through it and there were so many pages where everything was position so perfectly that you could cut the page in half or three quarters um, or a third and everything would be right on that page for you to cut through so it's it's like almost you know it's perfect for crafting with really and in the one magazine like all the colors go together it's just lovely. This lady is so talented. She makes all these like flowers. They're beautiful. That's what the um, front cover is about. This is what she makes. It's absolutely beautiful. And she uses a spatula to make them. Oh, now I know where I got the other girl from. So this was a page where um, I think it was the only page I had a bit of difficulty with where to cut it and what I wanted to keep. And um, so I ended up making her the full size, but I cut because it was, I um, can't remember what was on the side. I think this was one, one bit. And then she was on the side, so I cut her out separately. Love this little tag. So this is the centre. So this is a... Um, a Dear Diary, Love Daphne story. There was another big um, story which I could have made as a centrepiece as well. Um, that was further back. So if I'd made four signatures, I probably could have used that as a centre. Um, 
side. But it's good with this style of diary where you've got the elastic as the binding. If you wanted to, you could take it out and read it anyway. So And that's the legs of that cute little, it's like a pixie, isn't it? There she is. So it looks like she's knitted and made of felt and legs are knitted. And her dress is felt. Her face and her hat might be felt and then knitted scarf and the hair is wool as well. So it's very, very cute. I could collage on that, that area. I'd leave that. I might put a quote maybe, but like you could probably put a quote like um, stand strong or something like that because that's her legs. <laughs> and we know how flimsy she would be because she's very cute. Gorgeous roses. Great little flip out pages. good I love all this very dull like you can just see the color in them so pretty so easy to work with too when you're um, mixing them with other pieces of paper beautiful flower there No, absolutely gorgeous. See, I wouldn't do anything with that. I'll just leave that the way it is. Gorgeous. So again, you keep this border and just collage in the middle here, like the other side of it. Black tea walnut cake, that sounds delicious. Yeah, and that's the end. So this is that lady that does the sculpture painting. I'm mean, absolutely gorgeous, look at her. It's just so sweet. And so this is the inside of the back cover. And that's my Daphne Diary hardcover junk journal. Gorgeous. I really thoroughly enjoyed making this. Um, it really got my creative thoughts going um, to work out really how I wanted to use the magazine and I was pleased with how it turned out and even making the cover I wanted to keep the cover um, as this cover of the um, the journal and then deciding with the back cover which side to use on the inside so because as you can see from this bit this is the inside of the front cover 
it's absolutely beautiful and even the back cover was stunning and it was really hard but because I had this print here I decided to go with that which was the um, the actual back cover it wasn't the inside of the back cover so even with this I can use this um, I can turn it into a tag and cover this if I want so I can still use these pieces of paper so so thank you so much for watching and um, I hope you enjoyed that creation um, I'll definitely make some more because it was um, it really got me thinking on how I wanted it to look so thank you so much and um, when I start working in it I'll be making a few videos as well so that you can see the progress of that so take care and be well thank you bye